Okay, here's part two of Media War 9-11 and why it was a double force flag and I shall quickly explain for people who have not seen the first part what a double force flag is. Okay, a force flag operation is when you use all the methods and um, the the signs say of a, of a different um, of, a, of your enemy to to shield your whole operation. This was used by the Israelis by using false passports in um, Dubai recently. Sorry, in the Arab Emirates recently. Now, this all comes from the 16th century where ships would use different the, the flags of their enemy. Say the British pirates would use the flag of the Spanish Empire to attack one of their ships. That's where false flag comes from. Okay, but it doesn't mean that false flag operations are used for every operation that a terrorist organization does. Let's take the Moscow train bombing. The Moscow train bombing was done by Chechens, okay, and Islamic fundamentalists who were linked to Al Qaeda but not part of the actual structure. Okay, now their their group is on the is on the waning side. They need to recruit members, so they needed to let the media know that it was them. Okay. The Russians, by doing a false flag on themselves, wouldn't actually have gained anything except give that that group more members. Okay. Um, certainly, there have probably been false flag operations done by Russia on them on their themselves. Probably many in the, during the Russian um, civil war, where they the communists were killing people and telling them that it was the uh, Tsarists, and the Tsarists were doing the same thing, vice versa. Okay. But let's get back to 9-11 and why the media, particularly these people who call themselves truthers, right, are being subverted, right? One, there is no interest of the people who are really fighting the um, bin Ladens and fighting against terrorism of letting you, everybody in the world know how these people do their terrorism because otherwise people will copy them, okay? And small terrorist groups, small, smaller terrorist problems, although terrorism is also always a tragedy for the families involved, will thus become no, those tactics will thus become known to every terrorist group, and then we have a terrible problem. Okay, why is the other reason? Because Ron Paul supporters, particularly, have, and Dennis Kucinich supporters, can, consistently have been interested in dealing with. Um, the Federal Reserve's and auditing the Federal Reserve, central bank corruption, banking corruption. Now the banking system is always the middleman between terrorism because, not because they choose to be, but because they're in the unfavourable position of being the method which makes money transact between people. Okay, now if the the Bin Ladens aren't subjects of the Federal Reserve system, that is a complete twisted and subverted way of looking at things okay the Federal Reserve system only has powers to persuade people or take people's houses through the uh, income tax system in America and people say oh well this is a very totalitarian system and they've got the FBI and everyone else yeah but those people don't kill the other people's families the Bin Ladens do okay they're uh, they have the ability to do to kill most people in the world, all right. Not all people in the world, but any particular individual and their, and their families, all right. That's how they do terrorism. They didn't need to do 9 11 to prove that they were evil bastards and that they were above ev everybody. They just did that to rub people's face in the people's faces in the West into it. That is another reason why people in the media didn't talk widely about the uh, Bin Laden family because they love their families and they don't want them to be subject to the kind of terror that the Bin Laden family can do to individual journalists okay truth is put yourself in your, in that position okay you're going out protesting all right and letting people know who you are right and putting uh, wearing t-shirts and all of that of course people in that radio station that you listen to I'm not going to say his name right want you to want you to do that because they want to the, if it's not already obvious he hates his listeners okay 
He wants you to go out and protest so that they can discredit you and discredit the whole um, audit the Fed thing because they linked the 9-11 cons the, the conspiracy thing with the Federal Reserve, audit the Federal Reserve. Why? Because one, they don't want the Federal Reserve system audited because they threaten those pe the people in the banking system as well, right? To prevent them to it being audited is, is a need for them. Okay, and people that that radio host listens to, that it works for. All right. On the other hand, they also don't want it. He that radio host is saying that it's all one part of one big group. Okay, it's not. It's competing families. They are neo feudalists. They compete against one another. Okay, but they they want you to go out and protest and do wave flags and all the rest of it, so they know who you are. Okay, so they can discredit you. Okay, and then no one will ever get into power who will go and audit the banks. All right, now another reason is because they want to Thatcherite who that radio host is. All right, they subverted um, other people in Britain, right, and nationalist groups in Britain, and those are called the BNP and UKIP. Those are very anti EU. EU. Why are they anti-EU? And why does that radio host constantly refer to the EU and European bankers? Why? Because he doesn't want you to know that it's actually um, people who are Zionists, okay? And also a, a American a chauvinist nationalists who want that to, that to be the case, alright? The EU is not out for global domination, all right. Look at the um, the a policy of America at the moment towards Israel and the Middle East. And then look at the European policy. The European policy wants a customs union between Israel and the and the Arabs, uh, which would have a common currency, and so thus the European Union would be the model on which to resolve that conflict. Now the could nix okay in Israel and the neocons in America don't want that to happen. Okay, they want a Israel that expands to the Jordan River, all right? But there is a group of Jewish people who are from the Vienna tradition, and where do these people come from? They come from the intermarriage between German people and Jewish people, okay? And that happened because of the Wars of Reformation in the 16th century. Look that up. It killed the Wars of Reformation killed half of Germany's population because the Catholics and the Protestants were killing people left, right and centre for being Protestants or Catholics. So Germans converted to Judaism because the Protestants or Catholics threatened Jews to get money from them. Okay? And those people introduced the ideas of democracy and humanism to Judaism. If you've seen my vid, Western rationalism versus Middle Eastern doctrine, you will understand that the Zionist version of Judaism is extremely anti-Western, okay? Whereas the Vienna tradition of Judaism is very Eurocentric, okay? Those are the people who are usually supporting the Democratic Party in America and the Israeli Labour Party, okay? Who are quite open to America and Europe being friends. But Zionists and Thatcherites don't like that because they can't subvert that kind of unity between America and Europe and you know so who do they support? Well they hate the Bin Ladens as well Thatcherites and Zionists but when the Bin Ladens went and did 9-11 it was an absolute golden opportunity for them to try and decapitate the US and European and British governments right and subvert them to a, the kind of chauvinistic conservatism that fought against the American Revolution. If you're in America, you're familiar with the term Tories, Tories as we are in Britain, then you understand that those people were the first ones to be traitors to the American Revolution. And they're still doing the same thing today. Those people have been, have been constantly traitors throughout British history as well. They are offered Napoleon the... Um, ability to take over Britain and as long as they kept the monarchy okay and the banking system 